so today in our ongoing thing to try and find more videos to give you that aren't con vlogs because obviously we're not always at cons but today i'm going to the star wars last jedi in cosplay as bb8 so to prepare for that i'm gonna have to do my makeup so i thought i'd do a quick makeup tutorial thing i've already primed before i started just with a moisturizer that's not really important for you to see me do but just know that I totally did it. Just gonna put a wig cap on so I can keep my hair out of the way. Fucking ears. So we're gonna start with this, which is Makeup Academy Hide and Conceal. I have not opened this, it's a new one. Whoops. Mm, it's melted a little inside the cap. Oh well. I'm just going to dab it on in areas where I think I could use some, in areas where I want a bit of concealing. This is really melty inside the tube. That's not good. So I'm just gonna cover any, gonna cover this whole problem area. And because we're cosplaying BB-8 and BB involves a white wig, even though the wig covers up the worst of my eyebrows, I'm still going to try and lighten them a little bit just so that they're a bit less obtrusive. So to do that, I'm just gonna, and of course, because I'm actually quite warm, because I wanted to put a load of my shit on before I went outside because it's fecking freezing out there because it's December. My face is flushed up. So this looks really weird on me. Oh well, we will do our best. So I'm just gonna blend that in around the edges to the best of my ability. And there are gonna be people now that are screaming at me going, why are you doing it with your hands? To which I say you ain't seen nothing yet because I don't really use makeup brushes or blending sponges at all because I prefer doing this sort of thing with my hands basically. So for foundation, I'm using this, which is W W7 HD 24 hour foundation. I really like this for cosplay purposes, but it's not good for every day. I'm just gonna put one pump on my hand. This foundation is really heavy, so it covers really, really well. Like it's got better coverage than nearly anything that else that I've used. But because it's so heavy, if you use it day to day, you're gonna start noticing that your skin is not gonna like that. You know, skin. So yeah, this is good for cosplay, like I say, cause it's high definition. It covers really well, which is good if you are me and you get breakouts all the time, but really heavy on face. So just be aware of that. I've also got a cold, so I'm going to apologize in advance, which is why this makeup looks so weirdly pale on me right now. Normally my s complexion is a lot paler, but normally I am not flushed and I am feeling rather flushed today for whatever reason. This is just Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Powder. It claims to give me coverage for 14 hours. I've never tested it for that long, but you know, I'd have my skepticism. I'm just rushing through this because this is just basically just foundation and that and this is the boring part. So next I'm going to work on these brows. I have NYX's Jumbo Pencil, Jumbo Eye Pencil in uh, Cabbage, it, oh no in Cottage Cheese because it's their white. I'm just gonna go over my eyebrow with it and that'll just, it's fine if there's a bit of darkness because like I say the wig mostly covers the eyebrows anyway and I tend to find that in all honesty people with light hair have darker brows than you think they do quite dark brows compared to the rest of the hair on their bodies but black is a bit too dark you can tell this has been a bit used because it's instead of being white it's somewhat flesh colored now it's just because I love it New York Color do these individual eye palettes I'm not using the rest of the palette today but they do come with a highlighter and a primer which I am going to use so just going to get some of that primer on and I can hear people screaming why are you doing that with your f why are you going to do this with your fingers and honestly I find I have better control over what I'm doing if I use my fingers rather than a brush we have a variety of palettes that we're going to use for BB, which is my base colour. We're going to be doing something of a white and grey eye rather than... We're not using too much orange in this makeup because orange on your actual like face can look really weird. So this is Pink Tease, Pink Tease After Dark Eyeshadow. It is one of the glitteriest eyeshadows I own. As you can 
possibly tell this is bought for other cosplays that I have not done. There's a glittery white in here, so I'm gonna use that just on my eyelid. Yeah, I have a system for this, so don't worry. This does have a slight green tinge to it, annoyingly, but I tend to find that it's not actually that noticeable. So I'm just gonna cover the whole thingy of the eye there. Then we're gonna use this Makeup Academy palette. This we're gonna do that, and we're just gonna push this, this, in the crease, this slightly lighter grey. We're gonna try and push this more towards our inner eye there. And we have a bit of a highlight. And then I'm gonna use the silver on this Max Color Technic palette and put that on the crease, but more sweep it towards the outside of the eye. I'm attractive when I do this. There we go. And then finally, I'm gonna use the dark black and just with a little finger, dab it in on the corner. Oh, that's gone a bit weird. I'm just gonna use my other finger to clean that up a bit. Wee. Uh, I hate doing the bit in the corner. I suck at corners of eyes. I might fix that in a minute with some highlighter, but okay. So, I mean, that's just like a boring metallic smoky, really. Next, we have this orange eyeliner coal pencil. It took me a very long time to find an orange eyeliner and before I found it I was using lip liner if it's a lip liner that's brand new and you haven't used it before then it is generally fine to use it on your eye but if it's a lip liner that you've you already used like don't just in case like there is bacteria in your lips that can cause your eye to really not be happy so yeah we're using this coal pencil I'm just going to do a line along the bottom there God, I hate eyeliner at the rest of the time, so now I have to do it while I'm on camera. This was the fucking best idea I've ever had. I mean, orange is fairly odd for makeup colour anyway, which is why, partly why the BB-8 looks used so little of it, but also because you really want it to be a highlight rather than the feature colour, because it doesn't, well, for me, it doesn't go well with my skin tone. It might be if you have a darker skin tone, you can get away with it, but I am not one of these people. There we go. So you can see I've got a bit of a bit of a distressed look and then finally we have a mascara uh, this is Barry M's that's how I roll which I'm trying out I'm not 100% sure what I think of it before this I was using Nyx's one and I think I might prefer it but it is more expensive than Barry M's so yeah. I don't tend to use false eyelashes because I have quite prominent eyelashes anyway but there we go so now we go and do a little bit I don't contour for BB because balls don't have cheekbones, but I do highlight a little bit. So I've got some Vaseline here. I'm just gonna smear some on where my highlight would go. I think some of you might be able to guess where I'm going with this. Apart from the fact that I'm clearly gonna have the most moisturized cheekbones ever. There we go, a little bit more. And just put a little bit there as well because of something I'm about to do later. I'm gonna have a bit of a layer of that on my lips as well. And then, I have this eyeshadow dust in a light silver and what's this? She said she's using brushing. I am a little, little fluffy brush. And this is the reason why I'm wearing my jacket right now because this is the part that's going to get a little messy. I'm just going to dab the, dab the brush in and then add a little bit of a silver sparkle. And that will, this is something that I started doing because I had the issue that I was blushing too much through my makeup and it looked too human but I have not fully put this over the blush area so bleh. it will essentially stick where you've put the Vaseline All right so I've put it over where I'm most flushed which is why I was like it doesn't matter too much that I'm overheating here because it's making it this bit easier and then just trying to blend it in a little bit just a smidge <laughs> Like I say, this is basically something that you put along where you put your upper cheek highlight. And I'm partly doing it to hide the fact that I have blood vessels and therefore my cheeks are all red. And partly to add a bit of a highlight without adding a contour. I just sort of encourage that. And in addition to that, I am going to get my other highlighter, which is the one from this NYC palette again. I'm just gonna put it along the top of my eye. Put it along the, along the eyebrow ridge. Nah. That's a bit of glitter. There we go. And lastly, I need to do the lips. I have tried so many silver lipsticks with this look, you would not believe. First, I'm just going to get. You guys, I'm putting my Vaseline on first. 
uh, I tend to find that with these sort of lipsticks you need a base and a lot of lipstick bases that I try to are not fucking thick enough so, so I use concealer to cover it up where did it go? there it is I've tried NYX's solid lipsticks I've tried Smashbox's glosses but still the best thing I've found is Stargazer which is the <laughs> cheap 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 stuff that you get at the goth store I know but it's the one that actually stays the longest. The Smashbox has, um, it's a lot darker than I like and it slides off really quickly. Like it does not have any staying power at all. The Wicked does not really, like you have to put so many layers on to get it to even give you a proper decent amount of pigmenting. Um, and it just, again, slides right off. It, it feels nicer than the Stargazer on but it doesn't look better, it just comes straight off again. So this, despite the fact that it feels the grossest, is the one that will most actually give you a decent amount of pigmentation. Hang <laughs> um, So yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna ha I still have to layer this up a lot. You can see where I've like worn away the top of this slippy. Yeah, like, of these, the Smashbox probably takes the least amount of effort to put on, actually, because it is slightly more pigmented, but I just don't like the colour. It's more like a silvery grey, a dark silvery grey, than it is a proper light silver. And it just feels a lot more sticky, like it doesn't properly dry. So, mm, we're going to go with that. We're going to keep this in our purse. And last things, we're going to use this, which is Barry M's mist and fix i've only used a couple of mix and fixes but this is the best one that i've used so far and you just go mm. Mm. and then hopefully that should keep our eye makeup on and then we have to deal with the joys the joys of putting the wig on which i'm not going to let you see because that's a faff so I'll be with you in a second so i'm all ready to go out to the star wars double bill so here's hoping it's actually good and worth the effort i hope that this tutorial has been interesting or at the very least i hope that i made some people that i know scream because of my inability to use makeup brushes and instead i use my fingers all the time i know who it bugs if you like this please like comment subscribe if you want us to do more of these please do comment we're trying to figure out some more things that we can do that aren't vlog videos i do have an idea for another tutorial but we're gonna see how long that takes me because i have to actually you know make the freaking thing <laughs> that video started not finished we'll see how long that takes me but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this and goodbye it was fun together